experience. I ended up going on an international exchange to, uh, to England. I went to school in Manchester, England for a semester. I encourage everybody, the more exposure you can have to the world, the better. Uh, you guys are probably in general more well-traveled than I was at, at your age, but the bottom line is, and I've m mentioned this to some people earlier, and I hope you don't take this the wrong way, but saying that you're from Mississippi or Mississippi State University outside the state of Mississippi isn't necessarily going to put you head and shoulders above everybody else, okay? There's certain stereotypes and ideas that people have about the state, not so much about Mississippi State University, but about the state of Mississippi. Some of them true to some extent, a lot of them not so much. So when you walk in the door and you're from Mississippi, there's certain perceptions that you'll have to overcome. I actually have used those to my advantage a number of times. And in fact, I would tell you people remember I'm from Mississippi. It's become sort of a unique identifier for me. And I consider myself to be an ambassador for not only the state of Mississippi, but for Mississippi State University. And I challenge all of you when you leave this university, whether you're in the state of Mississippi or outside the state of Mississippi, to really take it up a notch. I mean, you're going to have people who are going to sit there and think certain things about you just based on where you're from. And some of you aren't from Mississippi, but you're coming out of a school in Mississippi, so we'll associate you with it. And the bottom line is use it as motivation. It's a lot about attitude and effort, a tremendous amount. I'm not the smartest person in the room, the room never have been. I, and, I'm, and by the way, my dad would tell you, you're no genius, but you're smart enough to do anything you want to. I'm bright enough. I mean, I can do just about anything, but I'm not going to be the smartest person in the room. At the companies I've worked at and the schools I've gone to, I've never been the smartest person in the room. But what I will tell you is there's not a single person probably throughout my career who's worked harder than me and has been, done a better job of building relationships with the people I've worked with. And that has been an incredible part, an incredible part of my success. So, and I have been successful. I'm very excited, and I'll talk more about my more recent career. So Emory University.